Kira, my name is Aaron McTaggart. I'm of uh, Māori and Pākehā background, and uh, I'm an artist. My journey to becoming an artist was uh, a little bit accidental. I went back to university in Auckland to, to discover more about myself and my cultural identity and uh, delved into the, the artistic background of my ancestors and, and did a really cool course at university that led me to becoming an artist. I started selling art coming out of after I graduated from university in Auckland. I started selling to family members and um, you know friends of family, and all of a sudden I started getting orders from from you know friends of theirs, and then all of a sudden I was being introduced to other people who wanted artwork, who'd seen art, you know, and and it was very sort of it was slightly viral, and then when I discovered Facebook and, and the, you know, the viral aspect of, of that, it, it blew up to something that, you know, allowed me to create a, I won't say lucrative, but you know, a comfortable sort of living out of working on art, you know, doing something, doing something I love every day. In order to turn this into a business, I had to devise a business plan and a structure that allowed me to sort of view this whole this whole movement as um, something that that would um, allow me to wake up in the morning, paint, and be able to sell and keep the keep the wheels moving. As I've moved along, I've um, discovered that you know. Facebook's very important to my business and um, selling at markets and meeting people and letting them see see your your work and your your canvases up close and personal and and telling them about them what you know explaining the 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 meanings behind certain designs and why you motivated to use certain colors and and diff different things that allow people to, to take a piece of your art into their heart so that they want to put it in their house. I got in, involved in selling t-shirts and merchandise and um, you know I've done everything from tattoo design to logo design to you know e everything that embodies my artistic content and you know a across the uh, spectrum to to allow me to work as an artist, I'll, I'll take on any job, you know, that that involves me being creative. My motivation and inspiration, I'd say 90% of it is is my background, my cultural heritage, and what I love about, you know, every day I'm learning new things about my culture, I'm meeting new people, or I'm touching new people in, in a way that I could have never imagined I would. If you don't chase your dreams a little bit, and feel, you know, the need to partake in in whatever makes you happy. Then, you know, it, it's it's very hard to sort of find enjoyment in life. I, I mean, I I've gone from earning good money and good jobs to to you know earning enough to get by, but finding you know like a, a healthy soul out of. Um, doing the occupation that I have and you know I wake up in the morning I roll out of bed and I paint for a living if you've got an inkling of a desire to do something in, in a field that you love whether it be art music whatever go for it and you, you just got to go for it because no one's going to make you happier than you can